Hello, Nevis here. I'm going to just go through a little bit of the navigation. Right now, I've just logged in and I was really uh, lucky to log in fairly quickly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go through the simple navigation. So when I've logged in, I can go to my profile or my name up here. I can look at the notifications, go to my dashboard, Twin Spaces, My Groups, My Profile or Log Out. What I want to do right now is I'm going to explain what the dashboard is and what it does. So here I am in my uh, dashboard. As you can see, I've got two draft projects that are ready and waiting for me to publish them. You can see that they have an expiry date. At the moment, I just keep changing the expiry date. I'm still working on these two and probably will publish them closer to the opening of school day. My dashboard at the moment for us eTwinners is really all about creating an idea for an eTwinning project. So because if I click on add posting, I'll show you what happens. It's asking me to add a post to my organization and what type of post. When I open this drop down menu, all I get is eTwinning project idea. So I'm going to show you how this works. So at the moment, that's all I can select for my dashboard. So I will click on it and then I will click on next. So this is basically just creating an idea which, which until published is only available to you on your dashboard. No one else can see it. So here it says create an eTwinning project idea. I need to go down here and start filling in anything that has an asterisk must be filled or must be completed. So here I have to select from a drop down menu whether it's going to be national or European. So just let me say European at this point. Um, organization, I only have one organization that I work for, so I'm going to click that. I assume that in the future, if we have, if we work for two or more schools, perhaps, or other organizations that are included in eTwinning, then perhaps we can choose from that as well. Then I have to give it a title. So I'm just going to call this testing project. Then the summary has an asterisk, which means I have to fill it in. So I'm just going to write test the summary for our project. Also the description has a, a, an asterisk so this means I have to put it in. Now the good thing about the description is that I can add a quote, I can add a video or anything that I have in my media library, I can add a link from YouTube as well. So I have a link from a YouTube video and I'm just going to click on link, add the URL, and the title is going to be, I can go into advanced. When I do that, I can ask it to open that link in a new window or a new tab. And I think that is really important because it makes sure that that page remains. So save, I can upload an image for thumbnail. It's not required, so I can stay without it. Down here, it says select the languages. I'm going to select English. Then select the subjects. I can select as many as I want. I'm just going to select citizenship for now, but you can select more. Okay, just for example there, show you. Uh, select subjects. Uh, the subject is, oh, actually subjects I don't have to worry about because there's no asterisk. Tags, I have to select a tag because uh, it has an asterisk. Competences has an asterisk. Again, I have to select. Um, I can also select digital tools or literacy. Age range is important uh, because I want to make sure that I attract the right people when I publish this. So I'm, I'm going to put 14 to 19 covering my high school students. And here I'm going to give it the most uh, possible latest date. I think is here yeah, September 30 and then I don't want to publish it right now because this is just a test 
So I'm going to go up to the top and save it as a draft. And here it is. It will appear now on my dashboard. So this is what the dashboard is all about. It's about creating an idea for an e-twinning project that you would like to do. And you can prepare it here, save it as a draft, keep working on it until you're happy with it. Once you publish it, it will appear here in networking under partner finding. Your published post will appear under here. Okay, these are all published e-twinning ideas that are here and you can already go to these if you don't want to create an idea but you are looking for a partner then just come to networking so from your home page networking partner finding here and you can also search but or go through there's only 274 at the moment which is not too bad and I think you can go fairly quickly through them okay you just open them up when you open them up I'll just show you what it looks like you have a look at what they've written about the description which is similar to what we've just done and then you get a chance to reply so you can reply and say that you're interested as you can see someone has already replied and you can find out who created the post where she's from here it's um, from France and that gives you an idea and also the organization so that is the dashboard I will come back to you with more on how to navigate the ESIP eTwinning website this is Nevis signing off till next time thank you for listening